Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing decimals by decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here our first given example on how to divide decimals by another decimal. We have here 6.85 divided by 0 0.5. So this one is your dividend and this is your divisor. So the question here is that how are we going to divide this decimal by this decimal? So let's try. First, we need to think how are we going to make this 0 0.5 be equal to a whole number. So our target here is to make this a whole number. So the technique here is to move your decimal point from left, from left to right until this decimal 0 0.5 will become a whole number. So we will move here. So to make it a whole number, we need to move one decimal point. So in this case, we also need to move one decimal point or one decimal place here, 6.85. So we will move one decimal point here going from left to right. So we need to write our new divisor and dividend. So instead of 0 0.5, okay, instead of 0 0.5, after moving your decimal value or place, it will become a whole number of 5. And as for your dividend, after moving one decimal point or value from left to right, it will become 68.5. So you will copy your decimal value here or decimal point here. And let's start dividing these decimals. So for this one, we have 6 divided by 5. We have 1. 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. And we will subtract. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. And you need to bring down 8. Now, 18 divided by 5 is equal to 3. And... 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. Subtract 18 minus 15. We have the answer of 3. And then you need to bring down 5. So what we have here is 35 divided by 5. That would give you the answer of 7. So 7 times 5, that is equal to 35. And subtracting these numbers, this will give you 0 as your remainder. Therefore, in dividing 6.85 by 0 0.5, the quotient is 13.7. Now, for you to be familiarized with the steps, let us have another example. We have here item number 2 and number 3. For number 2, we need to write first. Okay, We need to write them first. This is your dividend. It will go here. We have 15, 15.6, and your divisor will go here, 1.3. As you can see, 1.3 is your divisor. We will move one unit from left to right to make it a whole number, and that is equal to 13. And as for your dividend, we will also move one unit and it will become 156. What's next is we will proceed with the uh, long division. 13, uh, 15 divided by 13 is equal to 1. And 1 times 13, that is equal to 13. Subtract these numbers, we have the answer of 2, and then bring down 6. So we have now 26 divided by 13, that is equal to 2. And 2 times 13, that is equivalent to 26. As you can see, when you subtract 26 by 26, your remainder is 0. Therefore, the quotient is simply equal to 12, or 15 0.6 divided by 1.3 is equal to 12. So right now guys, we're done with our discussion. 
So for number 3, we have 86.4 divided by 0 0.12. Uh, this is your activity, and I hope that I can see your answer within our comment section. Write your answer. Write your answer in the comment section. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Tishore Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!